How are you learning to better manage and motivate teams? One of the key questions I learned this year is so simple, but like when I heard about it, I was like, oh my God, well, I didn't think about this before. It is, I ask people, what do you expect from me? And I've been surprised how, how honest people are uh -huh. and how much I had to, I could learn from that. Um, and, and, and very often it has to do with like, I know how res how responsive I am or like um, what I give feedback on, but also how what they want to take out of this relationship. Beyond that, I learned this year that I also had to let go sometimes in order to really help the people on the team. Um, we've had situations at Holsey where I was the bottleneck, mm -hmm. you know? I wanted to like read every email um, and like make sure everything was okay of the persons I was working with. And I thought this would kind of like improve things, yeah. but in the end of the day, it didn't. Mm -hmm. um, what, it, what, it, what it created was that, um, first of all, people were waiting for me. Mm -hmm. um, I was stressed because I knew they were waiting for me mm -hmm. and um, it did not improve the, the overall results. Mm -hmm. So I've been trying more and more this year to just like let go, mm -hmm. define kind of an end goal where we want to get to, mm -hmm. and then give people quite a lot of like freedom to get there. Mm -hmm. And um, have them like come if they just want to like su have support mm -hmm. or guidance. But you know, in, in general, let them take the decisions. And um, I feel like most people that I have the chance to work with are so smart. They take really good decisions and actually most often better decisions than I take. Yeah. Um, let them do it. Let them take those decisions. Um, and that has, that has worked really well.